Over the years, g software has evolved. Patches have been released to update and improve the functionality of the software. And today, it is powered by the more reliable new kernel to deliver a smoother and faster operation for the user. My name is Liu from Neofame g Malaysia and I will walk you through on some of the unique functions available in g software. Firstly, let us take a glimpse on the interface of the software. g offers a flexible user interface where we can switch the environment from this pull-down menu either from your classic to a ribbon interface. With this flexible CUI and easy to understand configuration panel, we can set up our own customized toolbar, the ribbon panel, menus, and even our preferable workspace. GStarcat shortcut command can be edited easily, and it is saved as .pgp file in your system. When working with GStarcat software, the native file format is .dwg file. To quickly navigate to the same working folder, the path can be saved here for easy access. And here we have the standard drafting settings where we can configure the object snapping functions and by enabling the dynamic input, it provides a better way to view and input our parameters. Layers probably the most important command any CAD user need to know. We can assign layers with names, properties such as specific line types, colors, and we can easily control the visibility of all the entities in the drawing. Basically, with layers, it can make your drawing easy to work with. Here we have another way to handle layers besides using the layer manager. By using layout command, it will speed up the way you want to view your drawing. With this simple dialog box, we can just select the exact layers that we need to work on and the selected layers will be shown instantly on the screen and the non-selected one will be off. Besides using layers to control the visibility of the objects, you can use isolate command to temporarily hide or isolate on any selected objects. Once you are done with any changes or amendment, you can choose to end object isolation to restore every object as it is. With this added command, it surely speed up the selection process. Well, since I have this area isolated, I would like to share with you one of the commands that will quickly display and add up the area of any selected closed region. Firstly, I need to form a closed region for this room and to get the total area and eliminate the number of steps taken in g -Starcat, we can use area sum command. By picking multiple closed regions on your drawing, the total area will display at the command prompt instantly. And there you have it, the total area for this both selected region. Text incremental copy is one of the commands that will speed up the way we do numbering. Example for room tagging, parking lot, or for grid setup. Well, let us take a look on this sample of a grid. I have a number here for my vertical grid setup. By going to the text panel, select text incremental copy, pick the text, and here we have a simple dialog box that allows us to control the distance and the amount of text appear on the screen. Since I have this uniform distance, I keep it selected and key in the value of 4000, increase the amount to 2 and now I have the number of 2 and 3 appear and ready for placement. Besides that, by deselect the distance option, now it allows me to place my text manually to any location in my drawing.
And here we have another good example to show on how to utilize this command. And there you have it, the text incremental copy. Cat table to Excel. By using cat table to Excel command, we can easily extract table created with lines and text. With just few button clicks, your table will be exported to Excel automatically. By selecting this command from Express Panel, select the suitable scale depending on the size of your CAD table, highlight the table and just hit enter. And the successfully converted file will open automatically in Microsoft Excel application. The next command I would like to share with you is AutoSIS, which allows you to create or use existing Excel spreadsheet to embed in your CAD drawing. Changes in the spreadsheet will update instantly in your CAD drawing. AutoSIS can be used to calculate the total number of blocks as well. By referring to this table, we have this window block with a total number of 3 units in this drawing. By duplicating the same block, the total quantity will be updated instantly. So by clicking the Edit Table function, select this table, now it will show up in my Excel program. I will use AutoSIS command to complete my task by calculating the total number of lighting features in this CAD drawing. Next. By using Layer command, I'll choose to open the layers that I needed to work on. And by using the Isolate command, I can just hide all the unselected objects. I'll switch to my tool palette to grab the blocks which I had created before. Now I would like to place the downlight symbol on the given path with a uniform measurement at 1300 in between. To speed up the process, I would like to introduce layout by path command to quickly array my selected object on the given path with ease. And once I'm done, I'll turn everything on to the previous state. I'll choose Edit Table. I'll pick this table. Give a name. I call it as Downlight. Pick the empty space. Click Add and look for the name of the block, which is DL. Select all four layer properties. I'll click OK and there you have it, the total number of DL block in this drawing. I'll click Finish and Save to return to the drawing. A dynamic block is a block where we added some intelligence on it to become more flexible when editing or to make changes. In this drawing, we have few examples of dynamic block. This window has been assigned with combination of parameters and actions such as the stretch and lookup action. Another example we have in this drawing is this door. It has been assigned with flip action so we can easily mirror the opening or the swing direction. If I would like to add the flip action to this door, all I have to do is just double click on the block and this will lead me to the block editor interface. Once you are in, the block editor interface allows you to create new block, edit the geometry of the existing block, assigning attributes or adding custom properties and grips to your block. On this door, I will add a flip parameter and a flip action at the center of this geometry. And once I'm done, I will click close and save the block. And now, we can easily mirror the swing of the door by just clicking the flip action. We have another great example here which is this beam. It needed to do multiple copy at 660 gap. To easily do this, I'll use the linear parameter. With this, I can define the custom grip and properties. Next, 
by applying the array action, the beam will array at the given parameter, which is 660 gap distance to achieve a uniform result. Dynamic blocks offer many capabilities, enabling you to create blocks that are complex and intelligent, yet easy to control. Blocks can be stored in two pallets by drag and drop process. Pallet can be created and shared with others by exporting them to a file, then the other will import the two pallets to their own system. Annotation scale will help when it comes to creating different scale factor for every viewport. With annotation scale, it will size your tags, dimension, hash patterns and other annotative objects correctly. The Magnifier. Magnifier option is located at the drafting settings. By selecting the Magnifier settings, user can select the shape, set the Magnifier factor, and the fading control. Point your cursor to any location. Click mouse wheel button, and this will make you to focus on the selected area and the surrounding area will be faded according to your settings. Drawing can be converted to PDF. By going into the properties, custom properties, user can set to include layer information in the PDF.